We have new information tonight about Canada and asbestos. Next week, countries from around the world will decide whether to add asbestos to a global list of hazardous substances. More than 50 countries ban its use. But Canada is a leading exporter of asbestos, and the Harper government has opposed listing it as hazardous. Now our senior investigative correspondent Diana Swain has learned that stand goes directly against Health Canada's recommendations. Even as it continues to gather asbestos from a mine in Quebec for sale around the world, for years Canada has been scraping asbestos out of buildings, including Parliament and 24 Sussex. Like other forms of asbestos, Canadian mined chrysotile has been linked to cancer. Asked during the recent election campaign how Canada can justify the contrast, the Prime Minister indicated that as long as countries are willing to buy it, he won't stand in the way. This government will not put Canadian industry in a position where it is discriminated against in a market where sale is permitted. But documents obtained by CBC News show there's been conflict behind the scenes of government over asbestos going as far back as 2006. That's when there was a global move to add asbestos to the Rotterdam Convention as a hazardous substance. It would mean that before Canada could sell asbestos to any other country, it would have to tell buyers about the risks and the need to handle it properly to keep people safe. The documents show Health Canada was in favor. Health Canada's preferred position would be to list, let people know about the substance so they have the information they need through prior informed consent to ensure they handle and use the substance correctly. But it's clear in the same documents, Health Canada feared they'd be overruled. Acknowledge the final decision will not be made on the basis of health alone. That's a nod to Ottawa's other consideration. $90 million in export sales of Canadian asbestos every year, all of it from Quebec. The Department of Natural Resources, until recently led by Christian Paradis, whose riding includes a part of Quebec that mines asbestos, warned that adding the product to the Rotterdam list could lead to a relatively high risk of creating a trade barrier and be perceived as encouraging a ban of the substance. The Chrysotile Institute, based in Montreal, speaks for the industry. It's received millions in government funding and says there's no need to say anything about Chrysotile before selling it because if handled properly, it's safe. The declared objective of the people who are pushing for inclusion of Kyrgyzstan in that convention is to ban the substance worldwide. And this would be a move in that direction, but that move is totally unwarranted. Health Canada remarked again in 2008, Canada is the only developed country that has repeatedly opposed placing chrysotile on a prior informed consent. This Ottawa doctor, who's part of a group fighting Canada's sales abroad, says the government has let business trump health. Clearly there's a political decision above that that overruled the health uh, imperative and kept it off the list. Now as countries prepare to discuss the issue again, Canada is saying nothing publicly about whether its position has changed. In a statement to CBC News, the government says it's currently preparing its positions, but the clearest indication may be the Prime Minister's endorsement of the Canadian asbestos industry mere weeks ago.